In this video, we pay tribute to the celebrities who tragically passed away today. Join us as we remember their incredible contributions to the entertainment industry and the impact they had on our lives. From legendary actors to renowned musicians, this video is a heartfelt acknowledgement of their talent and legacy. Stay tuned as we honor these beloved stars and reflect on their extraordinary careers. John Savadant. He was a British actor known for his numerous television roles, including his portrayal of Fred Elliott in the soap opera Coronation Street from 1994 to 2006. He is also known for his performance as Monsieur Furman in the West End cast of The Phantom of the Opera. Savadant created the role of Monsieur Furman in the original production of Phantom of the Opera, which opened on October 9, 1986 at Her Majesty's Theatre in Haymarket, London. Savadant was one of the readers on the BBC's online advent calendar in December 2006. He guest starred in the Christmas special episode of Holby City in 2012, playing patient Rupert Poole. He voiced the character Pendle in the Doctor Who audio drama Order of the Daleks. He was born on 21st of January, 1938. He died on 21st of February, 2024, at the age of 86. Pamela Salem. She was a British film and television actress. She was born in Bombay, India, and educated at Heidelberg University in Germany and later at the Central School of Speech and Drama in London, England. Salem is known for her co-starring role in the early 1980s ITV children's fantasy series Into the Labyrinth as the Evil Witch Belair, and her late 1980s guest role in the BBC soap opera EastEnders as Shady Mafia affiliate Joanne Francis. She was also heard as one of the many voices of Zoanon in The Face of Evil, 1977. Salem also had a recurring role in the British sitcom French Fields from 1989. She also appeared in Michael Crichton's The First Great Train Robbery, 1979. She can also be heard as the queen in the English dub of Helsing Ultimate OVA for 2008. She was born on 22nd of January, 1944. She died on 21st of February, 2024, at the age of 80. Cause of death has not yet been disclosed. Jesse Baird. He was an Australian television presenter and Australian rules football goal umpire. Baird worked as a presenter and reported on a number of Network 10 programs, including Totally Wild and Gamify. He was also a red carpet reporter on Studio 10 until the program was cancelled in December 2023. Baird first played as an Australian Rules football goal umpire in 2011 with the Northern Football Netball League, officiating the Division 1 Grand Final in 2015. In 2020, he joined the Australian Football League, AFL, list. His 50th game came in round six of the 2023 season. Baird won the Brian Pratt medallion for most promising AFL umpire in 2020 and 2021. He was born on 1998. He died on 19th of February, 2024, at the age of 26. Cause of death has not yet been disclosed. Lanny Flaherty. He was an American actor. Flaherty had roles in films and miniseries such as Lonesome Dove, Natural Born Killers, Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, and Signs. He also had a brief role in Men in Black 3, and appeared as Jack Crow in Jim Mickle's 2014 adaptation of Cold in July. Other film appearances include Winter People, Miller's Crossing, Blood in Blood Out, and others. He died following surgery on 22nd of February, 2024, at the age of 81. Stuart Organ. He was a British actor. Organ was best known for his portrayal of the character Mr. Robson in the children's television drama Grange Hill. Organ portrayed the series' longest-serving teacher, arriving in 1988 as the new head of P. In 1998, he finally landed the headmaster's job, but left the series in 2003 soon after production of Grange Hill transferred to Liverpool. Organ appeared as Kevin Cross in the Mirza TV soap opera Brookside and played Bazin in the Doctor Who story Dragonfire Fire in 1987. His regular voice work included lip-syncing and dubbing cartoons and video games, including Star Wars, The Old Republic. He was born on 1951. 
He died on 23rd of February, 2024, at the age of 72, died after a short illness. Tina Rainford. She was a German singer from Berlin. Her musical career began in 1963 under the pseudonym of Peggy Peters, helped by Drafi Deutscher who wrote and produced her hits. Assuming her real name in 1967, she recorded several duets with her husband, Pete. Rainford's greatest success came in 1976 with the issuance of her song, Silver Bird. It became a significant hit, charting internationally in two languages. She was born on 25th of December, 1946. He died on 23rd of February, 2024, at the age of 77. No cause of death was given. Claude Montana. He was a French fashion designer. His company, the House of Montana, founded in 1979, went bankrupt in 1997. In 1981, Montana designed his first collection for men, called Montana Homs, in which he focused on the color and material of each garment rather than trivial details. He was born on 29th of June, 1947. He died on 23rd of February, 2024, at the age of 76.